Okay, let's get started on ISDS 702, Module 2, Forecasting, Video 1, uh, Weighted Moving Averages. So, if you haven't done so already from Module 1, the first thing that you need to do is go to the trusty old internet and uh, download Excel QM and QM for Windows. You can do that by uh, just making a simple search for XLQM and clicking on both of these downloads or just the one of them if you have uh, an Apple software or computer that you're using. Alright, let's jump right into it. Let's start with um, XLQM. So after you've uh, made the download, you want to go to the very last tab, XLQM. I click on alphabetical, cruise on down to F forecasting, and weighted moving average. So if you are following along in your textbook, whoa, that will be on page 161. Sorry, it's getting a little late here, and my hands seem to be moving kind of slow. Alright, so the number of past periods of data, uh, we want to enter that as 12, so we'll be evaluating basically a year's worth of data. Um, number of periods to average is given in the information in the textbook, which uh, we're going to increase to 3. So basically, when I click OK, it's going to formulate a template of weighted moving averages formats in Excel, okay? Simple. So, whoa, we can't do that. Let me just try to copy this real quick. Um, okay, so the demands are going to be given in the problem or in your question already and the weights can be entered in and as they're entered in those formulas and forecasts are going to pop up in the analysis on the right. Alright, that's all there is to it. Simple. Um, I usually like to clean mine up a little bit and de use this decrease decimal button um, and that will just give you plain integers. Um, and our next period forecast is forecast at 15.333 for the expected demand. Alright, fairly simple. Let's jump right over to uh, QM for Windows so we can kind of check out a different way to evaluate the data if you don't have Excel 2013. Or if you just want to double check and make sure that you're actually doing it correctly. Alright, let's see what's going on. Alright, solve. Next period, 16. Now if you can remember from our Excel example, it says that the next period was formulated at, of having a 3 month moving average of 15. So we got to change something. What's happened? Well, if you need to change something in XLQM, you're just going to click on Edit Data. All right. Well, the method that it's using is moving averages, so we're just going to use this um, drop down and change that to weighted moving averages. All right. Number of periods to average, we got to increase that to three. So one, two, three. <gasps> oh no, lost data. All right, 10, 12, 13. Let's move this to three. 
See if it works. 16.67 is not going to work. I think I probably did that backwards, of course. Simple fix. I mean, if, and I've, I've worked these problems out by hand, so I kind of know uh, how to fix it pretty easy. You're always going to want to have your most recent um, weight f listed first. And uh, the forecast for next period turns out to be 15.33. And XL for QM will also graph that for you. So if we're looking at period 13, we scroll up and it looks like it's 15.3. Works for me. Um, you have your errors, your cumulative errors, and you're mad. And that is Weighted Moving Average, Module 2, ISDS 702. QM for Windows and XLQM. Thanks for watching.